Hi everyone, Sandra from Scraps to Beauty, and it is Sunday night. And I'm just gonna wait for people to come on in the chat. Uh, let's see, let's have a couple things to move around here. Um, let's see, what do I want to show first? This. Hi, Denise. <laughs> Denise, I have some eye stuff. I have this. I'm gonna send you a picture to see if you want it. I'm having a garage sale. Um, this weekend, and so uh, I will check to see if you're uh, if you want it. Uh, hi, Josie. All right, let me just get make some room here. I spent all day cleaning out. I have like a Christmas Halloween um, closet, so I'm trying to uh, get stuff out so that I can. Um, Get ready for the garage sale on Friday. Hi, Susan. Susan, we just met the other day. She lives right here in New Jersey. Oh, okay, good. Hi, Eileen. Uh, oh, the stamps, yes, those are from Waffle Waffle Flower, so we're going to use those tonight. I want to use this little paint tube, or the, maybe this one, to do the swatches tonight. I've already shown this one. So they have that one there, and then this one. This one I'm not really sure how to use it, but I know there is, um, what was the guy, Mindful Watercolor, something or other. He showed how to use these. So, hi, Sharon. Hi, Stacy. Uh, I have a cool crane hand. Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. And then these little ones I got are from um, Danielle Donaldson. So I really like these. So we might use those in the book tonight. This one is so tiny. Can you see all that? <laughs> so tiny there. Hey, Jean. And this one I thought was going to be a lot bigger. This is the little palette. I thought that would be bigger. Um, but these are pretty nice. These are just like the big swatch colors. And this one, too. I love these here. You have them, Eileen? Have you used them? Hi, Joan. Hi, Vicki, CB, oh, Linda, <laughs> have you used them yet? I have a couple books to show before we get started with this. We're going to play with this tonight. Uh, let's see. The <laughs> chat is moving pretty fast. Hi, Tina. <laughs> All right. So first one I'm going to show, and I'm going to talk about that. Um, is this book here, Draw Your Day? So I thought that would be pretty interesting. Um, I just got it. Uh, actually, I got them both today off of Amazon. So I thought I'll just make a quick flip through so you guys could see it. Hi, Janet. Look at this one here. This is just reminds me of you. It's like right up your alley. This is Janet, she sketches so nice. So, so I thought I would give this a, um, a go. I'd like to try to sketch like 10 minutes. You, look, you have it? Do you have it, Janet? You have this book? So, it's, um, like I said, I haven't really created drawing practice. I haven't even really looked at it. I mean, I just got it. Um, so, I'm just going to flip through that really quick. Oh, look at that one, the zebra. Thank you. <laughs> did I get something Amazon? Yes, I do, because I have, um, what do you call it, Prime? Look at that one, the cute the little dog. So, yeah, so that's all different. Like this one here is just doing like your uh, cheese and crackers. <laughs> so, so once I go through this, I'll, uh, once I get to read it, ideas for drawing, I'll uh, get some more in depth to it about it. Hi, Ella. How are you? I thought about you today. I was cleaning out my Christmas closet and all these little ladybug um, egg uh, holders, you know, from my Easter. <laughs> so Ella loves ladybugs. I was like, oh, but I only had bits and pieces. I think I sent you a couple. Um, but I only, oh, let me turn that focus off. Hold on. Oh, let's see. It takes a while for it. And then I saw this on Instagram. Somebody showed this. I'm not sure who it was. Oh, hold on. I've got to get my camera up so I can get rid of that focus. Why is it coming up now? There it is. Hold on. Hi, Linda. 
he made it here so early. <laughs> All right, let's turn the autofocus off. That's good. It's done. And so then this, uh, the reason I bought this is because of, um, I forget those other books that we bought that has like a lot of um, what Cece does with her drawing. So the, this um, color book actually has two, um, it's very small, has a lot of, um, what do you call it? So this is by Flora um, C and it's by Victoria, you can see that angle, E-N-G-E-L. Um, and so... I can show you what I mean. So see how it has a lot of the lines. So I thought I would buy it for inspiration. Okay, all right, but only about 30. Yeah, Denise only lives like 45 minutes from me. Let's see how it has. Um, so that's what I bought. It. Well, not to really color in, but more for, and it does give you all the inf like different information about different fish and stuff. And see how it's kind of like entangling too. So I kind of bought it for that for kind of inspiration with that. I uh, just said the PDFs do. What PDFs for what? Just reading the chat for a second. It's on. Yeah. So like this one here about the octopus. So it's interesting. So I really like that because, of course, it's all about the sea. What's this? I keep saying I want to do a whale. So eventually one of these days I will do a whale. Are we talking about a class? Did you join the Wonderless class? How is that? I think it's Wonderless. See this one? Uh, Kent Painting has a face drawing. Oh, and Painting got it. Cat Can. Yes, I saw Eileen tweet that. Have you taken a class from her before? That's a nice class. Oh, and you do mermaids, really? <laughs> uh, you joined Wonderless for the next year. You did it in 2016. It was great. Yeah, I have to take a look at it. I forget who the teachers are this year. I know Mara Me, right? Mara Me Art, she's one of them. I don't know who else. So, so I'm just going to go through here really quick. But, um, like I said, I just bought it mostly because it's kind of like entangling. I thought this would be really good for like when I have my surgery, if I want to do some um, disentangling myself. Oh, Kyla Givenhan, she's in there too. <laughs> Eileen made you do it. <laughs> All right, that's face tend to be more whimsical. Oh, hers, cat, uh, cat can, hers are more whimsical. Her face is off. I'll look into it. All right, same thing with this, a dolphin, seahorse, like this, yeah, I like that one. This, I really like this. This is the one I'm talking about that's kind of more like Cece's type of, uh, hey, Kathy, how she draws all those different lines on her flowers. So, hey, Shauna, everyone makes do, <laughs> Eileen does. <laughs> like this, it tells you about the yellow tank fish. And so that's this one here. So, but see how small it is? That would just be too small for me to color. But like I said, <laughs> I would uh, say I like that. I bought it more for inspiration. Like, look at the conch shell there. See it? It's a cool book, I thought. Hi, Norma. Oh, my gosh. I'm so bad. You shouldn't have given me all that chocolate. Of course, it's almost gone by tonight. <laughs> by tonight, it'll be gone. <laughs> ah. So there's that. Here's your lionfish. <laughs> that's one. I, that's the one uh, Eileen says is it's terrible. <laughs> it ruins everything in the sea. <laughs> so, so I did get this. I haven't bought a coloring book in a long time, and so this is the only one. Because I just can't color with my hands with colored pencils. But and this one's a little crab. Seahorse. That's big. This one's really pretty. So it's not as, um, there are 11 classes in the Wonderland. Hi, Dorothy. Um, in the Wonderland class. See, like this, it's not, it's like more flowery. It's not as small the print. 
So I think I would do, I might put this one on watercolor paper and try that. So, hi, Kimberly. <laughs> so, again, that's the uh, Flora C, and that's by Veronica Engel. Engel. Oh, the Wonderless class has 50 classes. Wow. All right. So the other thing I wanted to show, I was watching, and this one, it's like pouring here today. And so I made Jimmy <laughs> spray this for me, which I should have done because you probably could see all the little polka dots there. That's from the rain. I'm going to have to sand it and then give it another coat. But this was my black creamer box. So you can see here. That was the one that I did when I was in New York. And so what I did was I was watching Josie's Muse. And so she took all her Prima tins. Let me see how I can do it. This will work. Oh, yeah, it works. And she painted them all. So it's like she put, and I like the way that she separated her Prima um, watercolors. So that, I definitely think I'm going to do that. And so see how I still could keep the white part. Oh, that one I went too far. I'm going to have to do it again anyway. Um, they're on sale, but not sure if there are. Um, and this is a rose gold. I wanted to do this rose gold instead of the black because she actually like color coded her. So her primas, she put all the blue in one tin and then sprayed it blue. She put all her greens in one tin and has it a green. She's got uh, copper for like metallics, I think. So and that's easy to do. So isn't that cool? I was like, no, I got to do that. So you can see now there is my black tin. You can see it was still black because I took the tape too far there. And then um, and then I touched it here. So I kinda, it was still wet. And I have to put the little ring back. But I'm going to sand it down and have it uh, one more coat. But see, I could still see the, the white around there. Oh, see in here, there's still a little black. So I'll have to fix that, yeah. So you can paint them any color you want. If you don't like the black tins, just get some spray paint and paint it. So so I thought that was pretty cool. I wanted to show mostly um, Cece and uh, Patty because we know how we love our rose gold. <laughs> uh, you don't want to take your paints out of the cute little tins? They would be a lot more. Yeah, they would, Janet. The way if you see her YouTube video, um, how she sets them up, and she takes all the doubles out because, you know, the Prima ones have a lot of different doubles in theirs. Um, so, oh, just let me check. Um, I'm definitely going to do that with mine um, because the way she uses it, it's so much better. Um, and I actually joined her Patreon. So um, I want to do some of her um, paints. And the way she uses her colors is um, the way she separates it. So I'm definitely going to do that. All right, so tonight we're going to play with these. So I definitely want to, with the rose gold, you love rose gold too, Shona? <laughs> now it's 150. Ugh. All right, so I want to, um, let's see what page we're going to use. I only have like maybe four more um, pages in here, and so I definitely want to finish this book so that I could do a flip through. Let's go paint. Oh, I guess we'll do this page right here. So we'll work on this. Hi, Glenda. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the waffle stamps. And where's Penny tonight? I'll have to show Penny because she'll have to low. So um, I'm not going to use these or these. So this is the one that we, um, we swatched the other night. You can see that there. And that's with using this. All I did was I just kept stamping it down like this. So which is nice because if you wanted to go long ways for a palette, you know, you can make as many um, as many as you want. So I thought that was really good. I wish I would have bought the little one. There's like a little one that's like an ATC card type. So I thought I would have bought that. All right. So, so we're going to stamp these. So let's see, there's how many in here? Uh, 36 colors. So I don't know which two. I think I'm going to use this tube here. Um, 
I need a little, I wonder if I could fit on this. Like that. Will that fit? And that'll fit. So this way we'll just stamp them really quick. And they have other, I think they just came out with another set of stamps. They have a lot of stamps, this company. All right. So if I do, well, uh, let's see, maybe six and six rows, we'll do something like that. And I always like to stamp off um, when you first use your stamps to make sure you get a good A good stamp, you know, a good imprint. So I probably should put something on hard on the bottom of this. Mm, what do I have? Let's use this cardboard. Hi, Linda. All right. So maybe I'll do the tubes hanging down like this. So I'll do six across. So let me do, well, we'll see how many we can get across. Hi, Patty. <laughs> Hi, happy Diane. Happy anniversary. Yes, it was their anniversary this weekend. Yeah, I should be able to get six and hopefully do six rows. Ah, I missed that one. Let's see if I can get that over again. No, nope, still, what happened? Ah, oh, must be something. Oh, underneath, that's what it is. That's what it is. Hopefully, I, well, I might not be able to get all of them on this page. Because that's going to be four. One, two, three, four, five. Ugh. So I'll have to put a row at the top in the next one. Patty, I have to show you what I did. I was watching Josie's Muse on um, YouTube, and she took her black watercolor tins and sprayed them. Oh, hold on. So I'll show well, didn't do it. So let me finish doing this. Four. Five, six. So I'm going to do that with um, with my tins. So what I did was I took um, washi tape and put it on this white part. You can see I missed a little bit here, so you can see it's still black. But this is my creamer, my creamer um, pigments, and I turned it to rose gold. Look at it. I took the little ring off. I'm going to sand it down because I touched this when it was still wet. Plus, it's raining outside, so you can still see the little dots on there. <laughs> but look how cool that is. <laughs> yep. And then, so then I just made sure I wrapped the, um, the inside so that it wouldn't get on there so you could still see it's black here. <laughs> um, I think it was a Krylon. I think Krylon paint. So... Yeah, she took all her Prima tins, and so she separated her Prima uh, watercolors, like blues and then greens, and then she painted her each one of her boxes. So I'll have to um, – I'll send you the picture 
of um, the one, but I'm pretty sure it was Kry Krylon Rose Gold. But So I'm going to keep that. So this um, is mostly my creamer ones that we did in New York. So there's a lot of my um, metallics in this one. So you have to show CC too, yeah. <laughs> so I thought that was pretty cool. All right. So let's open this. Yeah, so if you have a favorite color, I mean, if you like all purple, I think she even did her, I think she might have separated one of them in purple, and she did one in purple, actually. I can't remember what colors that she used. You've had that in your cart for a while. What's that? This? This here? I'm going to see how they work tonight. Yo, Joyce! <laughs> All right, so so this is one that has a cool watercolor palette here. You can see that like that, the water pen. I'm just going to use my brush, and then we're going to just I'm going to swatch them out here, and then we'll do something. We'll do something on this side. So, my paper towel. Oh, the rose gold spray paint. Oh, I wound up getting mine at Michael's with a sixty off coupon. So. You might want to do that. Let me spray these. So, of course, you're not going to see the white at all. Oh, I should take out another piece of... Do I have any B paper with me? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, and I'll have to show you the book, too. I just showed a book about um, drawing, sketching every day. And the watercolors, you could do that. Roasted spinach and olive oil pizza. Yum. <laughs> or olive pizza. <laughs> All right. Oh, I got pink in there by mistake. All right. Let's see, I just barely touched, I barely touched that pink and it went right in there. I'll have to try to be a little more careful. Actually, I should just paint the whole tube and all. These are nice and bright. Bright. Now this one looks pretty close to that. Why is that? I mean, it's maybe slightly darker, but it's pretty close. Like I would have rather had one or the other probably. It looks more orange in here, but it doesn't really show it like orange. Unless I don't have enough pigment on there. Yeah, it's darker, but I wouldn't call that orangey. You're not supposed to eat spinach. Why not, Dorothy? Doesn't agree with you? All right, so this one is called Happy. Another yellow. I thought it would be more orangey. That's a little bit of orange in it. Hmm. Yeah, like an orange yellow. Yeah. But uh, when that mixes with the pink, that's pretty. It's like an orange. Oh, water, green vegetables. Oh, okay. So, yeah, we can see. So that makes a pretty little orange where that mixed right there. We can see these two look similar. This has a touch of orange, right? It's an orange yellow like. One or two, they're warm colors. All right, so then this one is called Crush.
And that's a dark, 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 dark orange. That's a nice one right there. Dark orange. Hey, so. So welcome anybody that's new. And in your Sunday night with me. All right, so let's see. This one is 15 minutes, it's called. Let me wet these a little more. That's a deep orange. That's pretty. Reminds me of like a nice deep orange red like. That's pretty. The pigments in there last a, a while. I mean, you can see how long I could bring that out there. All right, so the next one is called Vincent. Kind of like a red, it looks like. Yeah, that's pretty. That's really pretty. I like that. It's hard to get a um, red in a palette. You can even almost go pinkish on this one. I mean, the pigment goes far, you see? Look at that, even makes a nice, look how love, I love that pink. It has a light, nice, oh, it looks orange to you, but it's pink in here. That looks really pretty. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Now, this is bee paper, so it's always hard to um, move watercolor for some reason on the bee paper. Like, see, you could still have that line in there. I really like the bee paper, but that's one thing I don't like about it. <laughs> All right, so this next one's called Ray Gun. Oh, and that's kind of more, I thought it would be more burgundy. But it's like a hot, almost like opera pink. You see that? It's like opera pink. It looks so reddish on the screen compared to um, what I see here. Like a magenta, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, and this one is called All Star. Another one that's kind of a deeper red. Seems like he's got three, three yellows. Well, that's two oranges, three reds. We have to leave these swatches in the book. Yeah, I, yes, I am going to. It's swatched on here, but um, I probably will do like, like this isn't a true, uh, this what he shows here isn't true, to, I don't think to actually what's on the watercolor paper. So I probably will swatch it again later on, but it's okay. I love how the, the lightness, like how light you can make them. Like, look at that. Like this pink is so nice and light. I if you could see that. It goes really nice and light. All right, so that was All Star. So let's do runway. That's this one. This one looks really pretty. That's one that kind of got mixed up with that white. This is like a um, a violet. This one's. I like this one. More like um, opera rose. I would say this one is. It's like hot pink. Can you see that?
the pinks are pretty in here. Like, well, this part here is like kind of pink. This has got a little touch of purple, I think, in it. All right, so let's, this one's called Jealous. And it's just a deeper version of that. You can see that there. Yeah, they're pretty. Have you gotten into watercolors yet, Ella? So you can see that one. I wish you could really see the true colors of these. All right, well, so this pink, this pink here is, looks almost fluorescent. So let's see what that's going to look like. Kind of like fluorescent pink. It's very light, like it's really translucent. Look at that. Or transparent. Yeah, that's really light. Can you see that? Super light. It's very light. All right, so that one was called just pink. This one is called Bowie. I'll get into the purples and blues. It's like a violet. And a lot thinner. Um, like more transparent, these are. Like these here seem like a lot darker. A lot lighter. You can see that. Much lighter. All right. So the next one is called Dropout. This is that looks like a lavender color, but we'll see. Yeah. Wow. I'm, I'm kind of disappointed that they're so light. Because they look so like nice and vibrant in here, but they're like really light. Can you see how light that is? That one is like super light. Like doesn't almost seem like it has enough pigment in these. See that? Hmm. I'm going to have to paint something with it, see how it goes, and see how they mix. <clears throat> Nami, Mabby Blue, what is that? <laughs> this one is called, I changed the name of this um, because he had a different name. I didn't really care for it, so I call mine Love. It's like a purple, dark purple. Yeah, see, this is more, I like this a lot better. See how nice and dark that is? That's really nice. Much better. Yeah, just these seem really light. From here, those three. This one, which one says the pink, the bowie, and the dropout. But see how nice and dark the purple is? It's back to being nice and dark. And then you can fade it out to being light. You can see that there. <laughs> oh, not you too, Joyce. <laughs> All right, so where do we go? We're at Haze now. Haze. This is a nice purple too. Haze. Yeah, that one's nice and dark, too. You can see that there. 
You see that there. <sighs> Maybe you need to work the water in better and loosen the pigment some. Could be. Maybe it's difficult to re-wet. It does dry up quick. Like I had to re-wet these, so maybe. Well, let's try that. It seems like it absorbs the water right away, Jean, so I don't know. All right, so let's see these. Who makes these? They are called, um, a, his name is Stuart Simple, and it's by Color, no, Culture Hustle. Oh, let me get the box. There. Stuart Semple. And it's by culturehustle.com. You're welcome. I saw it on Facebook. I belong to um, Larissa West's Facebook um, group. And so she had shared it on that. And so I thought I would give them a go because they look so nice and dark. He also has paint that he developed, um, acrylic paint. And so um, it's like two-tone. So if it's cold, it's purple. And if it, you put a heat gun to it, it turns like hot pink. Like he does all different kinds of like crazy things like that. All right, this one's called Always. <laughs> Maybe, Shauna. Oh, this is a nice blue. Prussian blue, I think. I mean, there were only, there's 36 colors, and I think I paid with the shipping $60. So they're less than $2 a pan. So... What I don't like is like a lot of the colors look so similar. Like, look, these two blues look pretty similar. This one might be a little bit lighter. So I'm wondering if it's, I don't really know that much watercolor. So maybe one is like a hot blue uh, and the other one's like a cool blue. I don't really know. But these two, they look, they look almost identical. Even though they look really light in here, this one's light, much lighter than that. But when you swatch them, they're pretty close. So, all right, that one was called Dive. This one is King Zulu. <laughs> and the way you pick some of these names, it's weird. <laughs> this one's pretty. Kind of like a ocean blue, maybe. Green shade versus red shade. I don't know. Like I said, I, I don't really know watercolors that well. So That one's pretty blue, though. For like, Can you see it there? For like the ocean. It looks darker, but it's much lighter than it shows right on here. <laughs> the names are strange. They are Eileen. Like this next one is called Zoltar. And see, now I sprayed this bottom one, and it looks already like it's dry already. No, they're not mica, Vicky. Nope, they're just regular watercolor. They're not shiny at all. All right, this one is Zoltar. The next, I'm probably only going to get one other. Oh, this one's pretty. I like this. This was nice and dark. This is a nice blue. Um, the next was nice and dark. Yeah, I like this. This was nice and dark. Not anymore after this. That's pretty. I like that blue. Look at that. It is a um, watercolor with lots of filler. But look at them. Think so, Jean? Um, is Marlene. Art by Marlene. She's coming out with her watercolors. So um, let me get another piece of paper. Um, I want to give hers a shot. I'm wondering if hers are going to be anything like a mixture between Prima and uh, Jane Davenport's. This one is a, I like this blue a lot out of this palette here. Can you see that one? Zoltar, right? <laughs> uh, prangs are, your prangs look better than these, really? Zoltar. This one's called Alchemy.
And that's just a deeper, more like an indigo blue, I would say. But it's pretty. I like the blues. Can you see the blues there? <laughs> Let's drop a little water on this. I wonder how well they... Um, how well they splat, you know what I mean? They move. Art by Marilyn, yes. Looking at the website. Hi, Aaron. <laughs> uh, these don't look like Jane Devore. No, I'm talking about the Art by Marlene ones because hers come, I think, in the same little tin like the Prima and Jane's. Um, so I'm wondering if hers are going to be very similar to, um, to that. All right, so the next one's called Envy. Here's your greens, Eileen. You have to like blues for sure, yeah. Okay, so here's your green. This one's called Envy. That oh, one's pretty. That one's pretty. Kind of like um, between lime. You can see when it fades out. looks like lime green and like a grass green. That's one of those darker ones. See if it's black or white. Yeah, these are supposed to be um, professional grade, supposedly. He's actually from, I think he's from the UK. I'm not really sure. <laughs> Green. Uh, this one is called Venom. This kind of looks like a grass green. Yeah. Let's see, that's a nice dark, dark green. <laughs> Hi, Jen. <laughs> Your bug swatter. These are not professional gray, not even close. Prima says that too, and that they are not either. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Joyce is your bug swatter. <laughs> All right, so the next one is called um, Emerald City. These does have four greens, so he must love green compared to everybody else who's got three. Um, oh, I did the wrong one. Darn it. Doing the emerald green. Now, this green is very close to that. Really close. Yeah, really close. That's the only thing about this palette. They've got um, quite a few color colors that are close together. Thank you. I mean, it's a little darker than this one, but not much. All right, so then this other one is called Grunge. It's another green. <laughs> Can you see that there? Your favorite color is called Loser. <laughs> now this is kind of more like a um, olive green, maybe. These are factory produced, proudly import, and private label. Thank you, Vicki. So there you can see it's more olivey green. Yeah. I think so. Uh, let's see. This one is called, oh, he's got a lot of greens. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight greens. He must love green. <laughs> this one's called Monster. This would be a palette for you, Eileen. Look at all the greens in here. <laughs> and I'll bring this up closer so you can see after. You see that there? So 
you could fade this out to like a mint green. Can you see that? It's kind of like a, a very mint green like. I'll stick with your schminkies. Yeah. Hi, Debbie. Oh, my gosh. I watched your video. I only watched part of it. Um, those pigments that you got, I can see how people could only sell their pants for $5.99. If you get nine out of one of those little pigment bags, so you're looking at $0.10 cents for, and if, let's say you put the medium in there, maybe $0.60 cents worth of medium. So it's like $0.70, cents, and then your little foil and your half pan, it's under a dollar. So I can see how they could sell them for $5.99 now. Um, they're, you know, they're cheap. They're pretty, though. I, they almost remind me of Hydra colors that you did. But these are not moving on the B paper. It's not paper, the paint issue. There's too much binder. Uh, could be. Could be, Jean. Do you like them? Uh, well, it matters. Um, I, I probably... I probably would, since I have better paints, Ella, I probably would use them for, um, I probably would use like my creamer ones. Like now that these are drying, they're very dull. And I kind of like, you know, glimmer. <laughs> oh, they're not like creamer or Tokyo pigments or even a black diamond. I was looking at the black diamond ones on Amazon. Some of those little bags were like 20 bucks for a little bag. So I'm wondering, uh, the black diamond, is that um, actual pigment, do you know? Like the creamer, uh, like is it comparable to uh, creamer and um, Tokyo pigments, the black diamond? I never heard of black diamond until you mentioned it. All right. So, so yeah, I don't think I would use these. I, what I might do is, since this is a light pad, I'm looking for stuff for like when I'm, you know, having my surgery that are light. And um, I might use this, like, let's say in my everyday sketchbook. I mean, I still have to want to use them since I bought, bought them. So I probably would use them in something like that. Although I really want to practice with the better. So I don't know. I don't know. I would definitely have to still use them, though. <laughs> but I don't like, like, the. I thought I would like the pinks. But now that they're drying, they're kind of, like, dull. These, the yellow ones are okay. The blue and the purple, I don't like these two at all. I don't like this lavender, which one says dropout, I don't like. And I don't like the bowy one. They're just like, I don't know, watery. All right, so let's go. Where are we at? We're at Swamp. Yeah, I mean, I would still use them, but they wouldn't be my go-to. Like, I would rather, probably would rather use my, this is a nice dark green. But even these, like as they're drying, like this green is a little dull. You know, I like shimmer. So for me, <laughs> the diamonds are two-tone, 10 colors, which uh, are a great deal for 21 colors. Oh, but the black diamond, well, the one black diamond I bought is had like, it reminded me of my mermaid's tail one. So it was like blue and green. But that one little bag was 20 bucks, I believe. I think it was $19.99, something like that. And plus, the the, um, the medium you use is a lot cheaper than the one that from Kramer, too. So there's the dark greens. I mean, if you like green, they have a lot of green in this palette. All right, so the next one is Wheatfield. Oh, that's got too much green in it still. All right, let's do that one again. That's this one, the wheat one. You'll never get into watercolors. Why not? Why not, Jen? Oh, this is like a mustard, kind of a like yellow ochre color. It does bloom. You see the water? I mean, they do bloom. But I just don't like that they're they are dull. You know, like I think my other ones are much have a better pigment. You either, Ella? Not into watercolor? You guys will be changing your mind. All right, that was Wheatfield. You like the yellows, Joyce? Not too many people like yellow. I like yellow. This one is called a a can a Kenaton, a Kenaton? I'm not sure. This one's kind of like a see uh like a sienna color. Yeah. 
here, can you see that one? Kind of like a rust. You love, love, love watercolors cause. Uh, I love your Yoda that you did the other day, the Yoda face. You're not used to doing faces, right? It came out really good. Butterscotch, lemon, yellow, ochre. You're too lazy to learn, <laughs> Jen. All right, so the next one is called bullion. And see, they're already dry again. Like, I need to re-wet them already. Ah. That's a yellow one, that one. All right, so this one's called bullion. And again, this one is just a little bit lighter version of this one. So we'll put those two together, let's see. Well, maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit darker. Pretty close though, see those two there? Hey, Paula! <laughs> All right, so that was bullion. The next one, out of the, all of them that are here, <laughs> I like the next name bit, the best, I think. <laughs> so this one is called Butt Nugget. And this is a brown. You like Moon Glow? Well, that's one of my favorite, Moon Glow and... Um, Oh, there's another one that I put with that. Kyanite Genuine. I love those two together. So there's the brown. <laughs> Butt Nugget, it's called. That's like the best one that he's, I think he named, that he named. All right, this one's called Stump. I don't know what color that is. It looks like it looks black, but it, it might be a dark brown. Let me see. Oh, it's a dark brown. Yeah, that just doesn't look like there's either. Um, ah, I got the wrong one in there. It just doesn't seem like I don't know. Like yeah, like I like it. They're very. They're not very well pigmented. I don't think. They're very like these. This one's really translucent. Can you see it? I don't know. Not my favorite, that's for sure. Yellow, blue, red, or primary. So not possible to make combining colors. Hi, Tam. All right, so the next one is called Stump. Uh, oh, I must have missed one. Well, I have four more colors, but I only have two more to go. Did I miss one? I don't think so. 26, 6, 12, 24, 30, 36. So how did I miss one? Oh, well, derp. actually, I missed two. Some Somewhere along the line, I missed two. I don't know. All right, so this one's called Dirt Bag. Looks like a gray, like Payne's gray, maybe. Yeah. I'm not sure if I'll use these at all. How did I miss? I must have missed something. All right, and this last one is called Void. Hey, Jamie. And this one is like pitch, pitch black. You can see that there. All right, so there we have it. So for me, hmm, I just don't think I would use it. Sorry. Better check to see if what? <laughs> Hi, Carol. <laughs> I think I missed one of the greens. Okay, let's see. So do we do, let's see. We did this one, Envy, Venom. Emerald City, Grunge, Loser. Oh, Loser. I, I think I missed Loser one, so that's this one. I thought we did Loser, though. Oh, no. That's like a teal. We didn't do that one. It's like a teal. Teal green. Can you see that? 
Could I, Kathy? <laughs> so what was the other one I missed? <laughs> Jen. <laughs> so there's that. So I'm missing one. We did this one. Shock. Soft shock. Happy. Sensei. Okay, now we missed one of the yellow ones. So I think we missed this one. Shock, happy, sensei, crush. I'm pretty sure we did just maybe it was sensei. No, I think so. I can't tell. Happy? Let's see. Nope, that's, I think that's it. I don't know, whatever one. I missed one, so. <laughs> uh. These are called, I'll show it to you, Tam. You can see it here. These are a palette by Stuart Simple, and you can get them at culturehustle.com. He does other paints. He does um, a paint that turns like an acrylic paint that turns purple in the icy cold and then like hot pink when it's warm, like if you took a heat gun to it. Hi, Carrie Ann. Um, he does different things like that. He experiments with all different kinds of um, paints. What I don't like about these is that they're dull. I like them more, and they're more, um, I don't think they're as pigmented. Now, you can see this in the, it's a little bit better on the B paper, so I'll show you here. But on my Jane Davenport, um, they don't really look that great at all. All right, so let me move this. Let me show you here. And I missed one along the way, somewhere along the way. So you can see here, here's the yellows. Let's see these right here. Let's see if I can hold my hand. These, they're super dull. They're very dull. And these are so translucent. I don't mean to say his name is simple. I mean simple. I'm, I'm not really sure how to say his name, but it's S-E-M-P-L-E. -E, so I'm thinking simple, simple. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, and so then you can see here's the other colors. Can you see that? In the Jane Davenport watercolor, uh, you know, in her paper is, I want to say 90. I think it's 90 pound. But see how they don't look, um, they just don't look that good. Supposed to be, yeah, they're supposed to be June, but they're more like like when I'm swatching them, it seems like the water and the pigment isn't really like mixing well. So, but like I said, I'm not a, a watercolor specialist, so you can't hold me to that. <sighs> oh, and Paula says anybody who's tempted by the me hand 48 pants set, don't bother either. So <laughs> Those flip out ones, yeah. Probably a filler pigment. Probably something because they're just so dull. And then I make sure that they don't rub off. Because if you don't put enough medium when you touch your paints, um, they'll rub off. The color will come off. All right. Wow, that's kind of disappointing. I thought that would be a lot better because his acrylic paint seems pretty good. But yeah, I would I would not get these again, that for sure. All right, well, experiment done. <laughs> so now what should we do? I had planned on thinking that they were gonna be pretty good and I was gonna keep playing with them, but I don't feel like, like well, I like playing with them. <laughs> they're grainy, yeah, kind of Kathy. When you're like putting them with water, they seem like they're grainy, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I will be happier. Mm. <laughs> now, I mean, he put a lot of effort into it. I mean, I guess he tried to make them, you know. But that's the thing. So even though you think, you know, people think it's easy to do watercolors, it's not. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put these away. I don't know. 
And uh, it wouldn't be something either, like maybe if I'm not even going to use it, I would um, like do it as a giveaway. I wouldn't even give these like to somebody because you want them to have a good experience with watercolor. So, yeah, I wouldn't do that. All right. So these grades, a pigment's B leave, it has a filler basic page. Yeah, they're very, they are chalky and they're dull. So, let's see, what can we do next? Darn it, it just like ruined everything <laughs> that I planned on doing for tonight. Um, I don't know. So let me write down what these are so I'll remember when I go through this book. So these are Stuart Simple. Simple, what is his name? Uh, simple, Simple, I don't know how to say his name. <laughs> Stuart Simple. These are 36. There we are. Play with the ones you do like. Hmm. For coloring book crafts or painting, yeah. I'm really disappointing. I would say definitely in these two. And then the this one was pretty granulated too. This one. The other ones are, well, I don't know. Sorry, simple. Stuart. <laughs> Sorry, Stuart. Just not my favorite. Oh, uh, let's see. Kids to just play would be all right. All right. Yeah. Probably. Yep. All right. So oh, now what am I going to do? Any suggestions? Where's Eileen? <laughs> I need a suggestion of what to do now. I like the idea of the, the paint tubes, though, to do swatches. So I like this one um, that has the paint already spilling out, and then this one that has just the plain paint to do that. So... Tell me more about these stamps. These are, oh, let me get the other ones. These are by a company called Waffle Flower. So I bought these, like I said, mostly because of the paint brushes and the two paints, not for the little mass and the chicks. But there's uh, plenty of YouTube videos on how to use these. I bought them for swatching. You can see these. So this one, that's the company Waffle Flower. They make all different kinds of stamps. Um, <laughs> but see how nice this is? So if, you know, if you had a palette and you only wanted to use, you know, just that, you could just keep stamping. Who's the guy, Gene? Um, is it the Mindful Watercolor? I think he's called Mindful Watercolor. She actually sent them to him. And they come with die cuts. I didn't buy the die cuts. I figured I would just cut them out myself. And he, um, with the watercolor, yeah. he um, has a, uh, a video on how he did this. This is one of those wheels, the color wheels that you could get it to spin. But I really like this one. And it comes with the, the mind of watercolor. That's, thank you, Carol. Um, <clears throat> yeah, Steve Mitchell, the mind of watercolor. Thanks, Jean. Um, so she, uh, the waffle flower company actually sent him all of them with the die cuts. So he, um, he liked them so much. He bought a Gemini. <laughs> Did he really Gene? Oh my gosh. Cause he used the die cuts with them. <coughs> I'm a slut. What? Uh, oh, yeah. And then it comes with a little ATC that has, I think it has this part where it's got this part, and then it's got, see how this is all separate? It's actually in one little ATC. Hi, Lena. Um, a Gemini is like a um, like a Vagabond, or it's a die-cutting machine. Um, actually, we found out with between Joan and Eileen that the Gemini actually cuts the thinner dies better than the, uh, the Vagabond. It's got a more um, more power to it. So it's better. And then there's this little waffle one. So like, let's say um, you could use this one for like your distress inks. 
So if you wanted to stamp the color, I thought this one was a pretty good one. Um, so if you had um, distress inks or your oxides, you know, and you wanted to make a little sample, you could stamp each one of these. So the Gemini, I think it's around, is it around $200, G? The Gemini? Mm. Hope you want to come to play with on Thursday. You're, you bought a Gemini, Jean? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you just print out the charts on watercolor paper. <laughs> That's good, Aaron. <laughs> um. But what's nice about this one, you could customize it, too, to your own liking. So, you know, so I thought it was pretty good. I, I like this one the best out of them all. Oh, you bought the waffle flower stamps. Whew, I thought you bought a Gemini. <laughs> all right. So, darn, now I don't know what I want to do. What time is it? <laughs> Too early, 830. Um... I guess we could play with one of Jane's. I have Jane's um, stencils. Maybe we'll play with one of those. Let's see what do I have left here. So I still have to finish this page, although maybe I won't finish it. We did this page. Oh, I have a page right here. Um, oh, you have a big shot you bought with the metal shim. The cover of, oh, this journal? Thank you. We did that on stream one night. Yeah. Thanks. I want to do it so I could do a flip through on YouTube. So I want to finish it. I've got this page. Um, and then I think I've got one in the back. So I've got this one. And then I think that's it. And then I can do a flip. Oh, no. So I have three more. Three more spreads to do. So I know what I have. Let's, let's work on this page. And I have, where is it? I have these die cuts. So maybe what we'll do is we'll... Bring some watercolor and we'll do something with all. I had cut these out a long time ago. So I don't know. Maybe we'll do something with these. So let's fool around with that. That's what we'll do. Although I'm going to use my other paints. Let me see. What should I use here? My other paints. Hold on. Just let me go get my other palette. Just talk amongst yourselves there for a minute. If you're watching on YouTube, just fast forward a minute. Um, let's see. Um, oh, shoot. I've been staying on my block the whole time. <laughs> We'll play with these. I don't even know what's in there. Oh, these are the Paul ones. Let's play with those. So this one is um, this one is the um, just the shimmery ones, and this one is just the regular ones. So let's do that. What happened? Just reading the chat for a second. Marker Pop has them too. Oh, the waffle stamp Simon says has them also. Yep, and Marker Pop, yeah. I forget where um, I got mine from. I'm not really sure. All right, so let's see. What shall we do? Hmm, I need a bigger brush, I think, for one. So let's just add some watercolor on here. I kind of do what like um, CC usually does. We'll just go with um, some type of intuitive painting. <laughs> we'll see how that works. <laughs> I'm just going to try to keep it in the center and just keep some white space because I, I have a problem with white space. All right. So oh, let's see. What color shall we pick? Let's go with the blues. I guess blues and greens. How's that? Oh, with the black. I'm just going to re-wet these. What are we using now? We're using the Paul uh, Rubin ones. This is the Paul Rubin regular. And then this is the, ah, that is the regular um, shimmery ones. So I'm just going to, let me add 
some more water on here. I'll just squirt this up. So I'm just going to stick with the blues and greens. How's that? Let's just do some. Both the blues. I need another paper towel, really. Let me get another paper towel. Blues, and we'll go with, um, let's see. Greens. Blues, green. These are the ones you should have used <laughs> when I'm laid up. These are the ones. I think so. Right, I want to actually get some drippage on here. Let's go with, what is this? Purple. Oh, didn't clean that good enough. I'm not going to jinx myself. What is that? <laughs> this is still, oh, let's see what that is. I'm going to actually use both of those. And should we throw some um, some of that? Put some shimmer in here too. Let's go with this one. There we go. <laughs> Welcome back, Patty. <laughs> All right, so let's go back to some drippage on here. Well, I'm gonna try this. What is this purple? Oh no, it's like a darker blue. I do want to keep some white space. Don't let me do the whole thing, <laughs> the whole thing like that. Oh, let's see. Just reading the chat here. Duty free, not anymore. I like that squirting. Let's try that. All right, I'm gonna do a little splashing. Let's see if this has got some blue in here. Oh, I don't want that on there. All right, let's dry this. Like it's nice to begin you. All right, heat gun. Let me get my heat gun out.
Oops. All right. Um, how we should do maybe a stencil in here. I'm just not really prepared for tonight at all. Hi, Marie. Oh, my gosh. I love the, the beginning of your page. Did you get to finish it? Um, I'm looking for a stencil. Yeah, she was on earlier. No, you didn't get to finish. Uh, let's see what I have in here. Anything? I know I have this... M for mermaid. Not what I really want. Uh, let's see. James Burke. Looking to see if I got anything in here that I can add to this page. Napkins. No. I have that. So that's what I have in here. I have some things cut out here. Kind of almost like this. Maybe we'll do her. And we'll add some of those things around. Let's just see what else I have here. We'll go with her. Just a little face. All right. I think I want to add some, I don't know, stamping or something. Let's see what we have here. Hi, Sharon. <laughs> Is there a butterfly napkin? Uh, let me see. No, but I do have, let's see. Oh, this one here. So it'll go with our blue and green. So this one. Seahorse. This one. Got this. Maybe we could add a couple of these around. Sharon, <laughs> oh, thinking you're what? Maybe again. All right, let's see. Yes, a napkin. <laughs> This one, let's see. Yeah, it's kind of disappointing, those paints. I really wish uh, <coughs> they would have been better. I guess this one on this side. That one there. that one up there. I think we'll still use her, though. Oh, she's got blue on her nose now. <laughs> and then we'll put one more. Let's see. Let me use this one the other way. Oh, thanks, Eileen. <laughs> Kind of all facing the same way. So I think what we'll do is we'll just flip this one. Maybe I can flip this one around. We'll have that one going in that way. Maybe like that, those three. 
All right, so we'll need some gel medium now. So let me get this out, and this will probably move now. Maybe not too bad. Too much on that one. All right. This one I turned backwards, like um, I used the other side of it. Let's <laughs> see how that works. Not as bright as that, but I could still see it. There you go. We're so tired after work, you slept for five hours. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was like Gabby. Gabby now, she finished, she spent a week in Greece for the wedding. And um, she said she was so tired and she was supposed to leave for um, Creed um, yesterday, yesterday morning. And she almost missed her flight. Um, luckily, someone woke her up in time. So that was good. Ah, what is that? Yeah, that would have been terrible. She was supposed to go to Santorini, <clears throat> but um, they had a ferry strike, so she didn't make it there. But she did go to um, Creed, and oh my God, she's been eating like um, fried anchovies. She said they're really good. And she had some fried octopus. I don't like fried octopus, but Jimmy and Gabby love octopus. Um, Oh, thanks, Jamie. <laughs> it's like, oh, I didn't know what to do after my plans were foiled. <laughs> All right. So I don't know. So we might put her down. Let me get out those. Let me move this. Stick that in there for now. Let me move these out of the way now. And let's see what we have here to play with. My gosh, I want to use those black markers too. <clears throat> uh, not if you're what? If you get a good one cooked. Oh, what's that? <laughs> what, an octopus? Um, I don't like octopus. Ooh. You like it, Patty? I know she loves her crabs. <laughs> All right. So I have these. I'm wondering if we could somehow. Let's see what we could do here. Maybe we could do a um, some type of dress form type thing. <clears throat> No, Patty. <laughs> oh, calamari. You love calamari, Kathy? Do I like seafood? Yes. I like um, flounder. Flounder is like my best thing that I really love. And then um, I'll eat like a crab cake. Um, let's see. Do I have any other bigger pieces? I think maybe we should put her, you think maybe more in the middle? Let's see. Let's 
I like to fussy cut, so I don't mind fussy cutting. So if we can go this like across the, the middle of the page. Let's see what else I have. Thanks, Sharon. <laughs> This one's the same as that. Oh, this one's pretty with the flower. I like this one. Where can we put this? Maybe this one on this end. I'm going to put that there. Cut out. Here's a couple more pieces. We'll have to add some more to the background, I think, though, but this is pretty. I kind of just keep, want to keep that on the one side like that. And then maybe add that there. <laughs> what is what is choice? <laughs> shark if done correctly. We had shark soup one time in Hong Kong. It didn't really taste like anything to me. I want to put this one. I like this part right there, the drippage of that part. <laughs> oh, my page. <laughs> I'm trying to see what else I could stick in here that I would like that we could add. Well, I like this flower. Definitely like the flower. And we'll just leave that there. She likes the colors. I don't know, maybe that's all it needs, and then maybe we could add something else on the other side. Maybe not doesn't need a whole lot of stuff. Let's see. I don't like that there. What do you think? Up? No, I don't like that. I think maybe just just kind of that. <laughs> You're back. Welcome back, Jen. <laughs> Let's see what else I have here. Oh, this one's pretty. I took the uh, these and I made a bird out of them at one time. Oh, thanks, Jen. <laughs> Trying to salvage, salvage the night. <laughs> Not what I really planned on doing tonight, that's for sure. <laughs> You've a lot of strange things over the years, especially in the Orient. Jellyfish tendrils? Ew, how was that, CB? Jellyfish tendrils? Ugh. All right, so I think she looks pretty good, but don't you think we should add something? Let me see what else I have. Let's see. What if we can add some of these dangles in here? What kind of paste do I have around? Do I have any paste? She needs a body or something. Well, I'm trying to just to leave her with her face. <laughs> I don't want to draw a whole body. I, in, I really didn't plan on drawing like a, a whole girl tonight. <laughs> yeah, these are all um, graphic 40. Oh, sis, I'll show you. So you see this part? So this is what I used for a beak. 
trying to think of how I made the body with what one time. I might have used this for like the body. No, that wasn't. I think that used for the tail. I'm trying to think what I used for the body. And I made like a little bird somehow. I think I'm going to remember how to do that again. No. <laughs> I don't know how I did the body. I was thinking the short quote under her. Right. That's what I think. Just a short quote under it. Like, um, I don't know. Yeah, but see how that looks like a bird's head? That's what I used. <laughs> I just can't remember how I did it. Yeah, I think I'm just going to add that. I kind of just like that. And it's the first time I'm going to leave so much white space because, you know, I never leave white space. But I do think the background needs something. So I'm thinking if we did these little jewel things. See how this has a jewel on there? If we just drape that across the top, maybe. What do you think? I'm just looking for some paste if I've got paste around. I thought I had brought up a couple of jars of paste. I'm um, just looking, looking to see what I have. Oh, I don't see anything here. I've been kind of cleaning up all day, so I've been trying to prep for a garage sale all weekend, and I can't believe I don't have not one jar of paste here. What is this? Gesso, white gesso. Never greener over there. <laughs> uh, hold on. Let me go see what I have for paste. Uh, i got to have some paste around here. Hold on. Hold on. I don't see anything there. We even have those Art and Bow ones. Let's see. Let's see that. I can use this Art Nouveau that I have. Maybe we'll use this dark blue. And I need a credit card of some type. Oh. I told you I'm not prepared tonight because this is not what I wanted to do. <laughs> um, all right, so let's do that. Let's put these dangles on here and see what that looks like. I don't want the big ones or the little ones. All right, so I'm not going to glue her down yet. We'll see how this goes. You love this one? Yeah, this is the Art Nouveau, um, the Art Nouveau Glimmer. Now, I don't know what color this blue one is. This is called Sapphire Blue. We're fine with just, oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you, Jamie. Because <laughs> usually I have a plan and, you know, it kind of just works out. But tonight I really don't have one. <laughs> All right, so let's try this. Uh, for the unplanned page. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Denise. All right. So let's try that. Oh, you know what? I'm going to put some tape first on uh, I need some washi tape on this part because I don't want to get this part in there. Oh, I'll use some masking tape. You eat rice and beans? Oh, gosh, I love um, yellow rice and chicken. That's like my favorite. <laughs> Actually, my all-time favorite thing to eat really is pizza. <laughs> if I had a choice, that would be it. All right. So hopefully we can get this in there nice and smooth, I hope. Because I'm going to put something hard on here. So 
Let me get that down there smooth. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? YouTube pizza? Yeah, I can eat pizza like all day long. All right, so I want to do that. And then what I want to do is I want to flip this over. So I want to clean this off. Oh, I like that. And we'll do another another row. Maybe we'll do this. Maybe I could just do that part. Oh, thanks, Jen. <laughs> Uh, for something I didn't plan on doing today, I guess it did turn out all right. <laughs> have to be careful there. So I'm going to hold this part here. Not too bad. <laughs> oh, thanks, Glenda. <laughs> All right. I think I'm going to use, I'm going to switch off and do this little one when we switch it, but I want to turn this one the other way. So we have to clean this one off. What I need is a, a mat. Oh, you know what? Let me use this. All right, so what I'm going to use, I'm going to have to use baby wipe for this. Do you like Finnabar's brush? Yes, I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. you have no, you've been a fan of it. Why? Didn't yours break, Jen? I thought maybe yours broke. All right, so let me stick that there. What we need is a wipe to wipe this off. So if you're going to use the other side, you have to wipe this off. Most of us uh, like beans. <laughs> right, so I'm gonna flip this over now on this side so that we can do this and do the long. And then we'll just do that little part, this part on here. So we'll have to move her. Move her out of the way. She's getting, <laughs> I'm getting a very girly page. <laughs> All right, so let me put that cardboard. Now, what do I have? Oh, I need something else now. Oh, here. Let me stick this under here. All right, so I don't want the, oh, do I want the feather? I guess I do. All right, so we're going to go on this side. Oh, don't move. Why don't you like this? Hi, Nancy. <laughs> Oops, I have to stick a little bit in here. I need a, oh, what do you call it? A spatula type thing so they can get scrape some of this out of here. 
which I don't have. I'll just stick my finger in here. Okay, there we go. Ooh, I love that. Now we'll just have to do this part. So we have to get the rest of this off. Oh, I need another wipe. You made salsa yesterday. You never had it before. I like salsa. Salsa and chips. This is my stencil of hers. One of the stencils that I like. It comes with three. I have that in the store if you're interested in this stencil. Um, yeah, but it comes with three. All right. So, um, Eileen, can I use a heat gun to dry this, or does it have to kind of dry on its own? All right, so now we're going to use this side. The store just broke too many of <laughs> my stencils. Uh. <laughs> All right. So did she say I could? Yes, I can use it. All right. So I'm going to use it for, for this side. Yeah. So heat gun. Let me just dry this so I can, I don't mess it up because it looks so nice already. <laughs> Really not nice paste, off the say. And it's very glittery, <laughs> very shiny. All right, so I'll just have to add this part here. Um, I'm going to put the tape on this, so we don't want that. Yeah, um, I like to use, um, I used the Art Nouveau uh, last year, I think, for. Um, Mine might have been for the mermaid's tail. I don't really remember. Something. Hold the journal up so that it shows. Oh, I will. So let me just put this on here, and then I'll. Uh... Oh, wait, we want that. We don't want this. Yeah, well, hold it on. As soon as I got, I'll get this part in there. What I need is a spatula. Let me grab one of those. So I can get the rest of that out. <laughs> There's probably too much on here. All right, so let's just do this. Um, what I'm going to do is put this under so it's nice and flat. Oh. Oh, I need just a tap more and those jewels. Oh, that looks good, except for like right there, we need just a little bit more right there. Just one. There. There. That's pretty, isn't it? All right. So let me scrape the rest of this back in here. Mm. 
No, thanks, Tam. All right, I'll hold it up. Just let me um, clean this off first. I'm going to have to get a couple more of these. This is really nice. <laughs> these Art Nouveau ones, they're really nice. I missed one. Jen, why don't you like these silicone things? I like them. I missed what you said. Janet needs some of this paste. <laughs> Janet needs a foil. She needs a paste. Okay. Let's cut this off. Oh, I need scissors. All right, well, it is very glimmery, so you can see how, let's see, how shiny that is, how glimmery it is, I can see this one here. The green ones, what are the green? Uh, there you can see there. There you can see how shiny it is. <laughs> They're pretty, right? Hi, Colleen. All right, now we can put our lady back. So let's take her in there. I don't know. Do you think I should do anything else to the background? I'm wondering if I. Um, we need some splats in there, don't we, Eileen? <laughs> Where is my rose gold? Pan. Here it is. Let's add some of the this rose gold in here. Need that stencil? It's in my store. <laughs> um. Nope, not enough water. No, why come I never can get enough splats on here? Uh, let's see. One of the mods uh, might put a link. Oh, yes. If you can, please put a link in there. That would be great. Paint and Paper Studio it is. Dot com. Oh, that's pretty. This will probably be one of the few pages that I have so much white space on, to tell you. <laughs> All right, there we go. And I don't want to waste this, so let's just throw this on here. Can you see how pretty that rose gold is over, over, even just over that yellow? That's Patty's rose gold. All right, so let's dry this heat gun. Thank Janet. <laughs> Got to walk downstairs to help Dave. Dave. Oh, thanks. Thank Patty. Yeah, it's really pretty. It's with this um, Art Nouveau. I'm going to have to get some more of these colors because this color is really pretty. The Nouveau Glimmer. And then I put some of your rose gold. I love that. I'm, I made a big pan for myself. So I have this. It's not, not as big as your little tray, <laughs> your peachy tray, but uh, It's really shimmery. It looks nice on this blue, too. I love blue with gold or this with the rose gold on it.
Thanks, Eileen. Yep, paintandpaperstudio.com. <laughs> Yeah, I actually wind up giving, um, hold on, just, actually wind up giving um, James Burke uh, a half a pan of this, and he said, he said he was obsessed. <laughs> he loves the, he loves your rose gold, Patty. <laughs> <clears throat> so um he actually used it in his patreon uh whatever he did i'm not a, one of his patreon uh members but in one of his patreon lessons he actually used the rose gold and he said he was obsessed he loves it <laughs> so when i do my mermaid's tail i'll have to uh send him one of those so all right so oh i'm liking that so cute i really would like to do my own face but we don't have time oh my gosh it's 9 20 already all right, so let's do that. So all we have to do is just put her down now. Um, now, if I can remember how I had it. <laughs> do you remember? Somebody rewind the tape for me. <laughs> um, what did I have on here now? No, I think I had this one on there. I had that one there. <clears throat> We all have night. Oh, <laughs> okay, Eileen. Um, darn it! I should have taken a picture. She got just run me to take a picture of it. Can't remember what it was like before. You sent a pan to Eve Bolt and Otto Cano too, to direct to oh to my website. Thank you, Patty. And fine, since you're selling selling your recipe. Oh, thanks, thanks, Patty. All right, so we got that there. That's why I know. Why didn't you remind me before I took it all out, <laughs> Jean? <laughs> uh, I know I had something else there. What was it? Uh, I think it was another one of those things. Was it this, this big one? Maybe this big one there. That, that, and we need something little. <clears throat> I know I had one other thing, but what was it? I think it was, I think it was another one of these. Here we go. You type, okay, thanks, Jamie, for stopping by. <laughs> was it that? That, how's that look? Uh -oh, there. I need something just to connect this part. And what was it though? <coughs> Darn, I cannot remember. Might be this. That and that. How's that look? <laughs> that looks good. All right, we're going to go with that. Do I need that piece in there? What do you think? How about this one? I don't think we need that one. Maybe we don't need that one. I might have had this one here. Maybe it was this one here. How's that look good? That look good? All right, we're going to go with that. All right, so matte medium. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Joan. <laughs> All right. Well, let me take a picture of it because I have to move everything. <laughs> I got to move. Less is more. Thank you, Shona. <laughs> let me take a picture while I remember. <laughs> All right. There we go. <laughs> Now we'll just we'll put her down first. I really love the top part. <laughs> I 
I hate to, I really like this part of the watercolor. I really hate to cover that up, <laughs> but we must, we must. She could, what? Cloud towel. Uh. I got some blue on her, on her forehead. <laughs> oh, I need a little more underneath there. I may need a um, credit card type thing. Just to get that to stay down. There we go. Pay attention. What What do you want me? What was the color of the paste you used? Oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Joyce. This color was called um, Sapphire Blue. Sapphire Blue. <laughs> okay, Joyce. Okay. <laughs> All right. Then we want to put this one down next. Oh, surprise, what? Oh. My goodness. Not too bad. The watercolor really isn't coming like, isn't really spreading around too much, which is nice. All right. And this one is going here. There we go. <laughs> and then I'll put this one down here. That, where else do we have? One step under here. Up now. This one is purple and blue. Oh, I missed it. Nice blue brush. <laughs> this one? <laughs> this one of Jane Davenport uh, brushes. Uh, you can actually read that. What are we reading in? I missed it. All right, this one is going to come off here. Right? Paula said she likes, oh, the die cuts look. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Paula. I found them in a bag and I fussy cut them from something. I don't remember. I was making that little bird thing. And then I thought we'd just use them one day, and here we are. Oh, 
on. Oops. There we are. I don't know why my autocorrect doesn't want to, I'm on your new phone. Let's push that into the crack there. All right, so then do we need this one? Where did I have this one? Over here, right? Let me rip that off. Does that go there? No, I don't think so. I think we're good, right? Like I need anything else. Do I need it off of there? I don't think so. I think that's good. All right, so did you guys come up with a title? <laughs> a title for this page? There we go. Oh, thanks, Aileen. <laughs> yeah, I think it came out pretty good for not planning. <laughs> I love this part. Oh, my gosh, I love that. We're definitely going to have to use that again. <laughs> All right. Good. App on your phone. All right. So, so I think this page is pretty much done. Oh my gosh. So Wednesday, I don't know what we're going to do Wednesday. We'll do something. <laughs> For, for a quick page, I think it turned out not bad, really. Madam Gazelle. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. I love the background. I really like the way the whole watercolor that I didn't use a lot. So thanks, Joan. Thanks, Jean. Thanks, everyone. Aw, Aaron. Thanks, Paula. All right, so we'll just have to come up with a title, some type of, I don't know, title. That's like my worst thing. Thanks, Sharon. Um, titling the pages. So thanks, Patty. <laughs> thanks, Nancy. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Joyce. All right, so Wednesday we'll do, I don't know what, I'll have to plan and see what we do on Wednesday, see what other goodies that I come along with. Um, but yeah, for thanks for joining me. Thanks for helping me with this. <laughs> so have a good weekend, and who else is on? Tomorrow is Dee Dee, and then Janet. Janet will be on tomorrow. Uh, Jean, you'll be on again, right, tomorrow for Monday? Jean's always usually on on Monday. Thanks for telling me about this Art Nouveau, um, Eileen. It's really pretty. I'm going to have to get some more. All right. Thank, okay. Thanks to my mods, Joan, Eileen, Jean. <laughs> Thanks, Janet. What are you playing with, Janet, tomorrow? Happy to see you, too, Paula. Glad you got to spend some time with us. No, oh, thanks, Shauna. Thanks, Denise. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Lazy night. Oh, thanks, Dorothy. Thanks, Jen. <laughs> Tam, everyone. Yes, most of you tomorrow at Dee Dee's, then Janet. Thanks, Patty. And then uh, Jean tomorrow night. So, or well, four o'clock, she's on. So, all right. Good night, everyone. <laughs> I'll see you back here Wednesday. Bye. <laughs> Are you going to draw? Oh, that's good. Easy to follow along. Great. All right. Good night, everyone. <laughs>